Right, so we have just arrived at a call out in the Sabaya precinct. They've already sent me a photograph of the snake, which I was able to very quickly identify. I'm not going to elaborate on what it is just yet because it's a surprise for you guys. Don't catch many of these, but I also certainly don't catch them this size. This is a little baby, it's a newly hatched specimen. So there must be more of them around. Yeah, how's it? Hi, how's it? Hello. Hi. You see the snake just chilling on the hello here. Shame, man. Yeah, his head is sort of tucked back in here. How's it, Jason? Hey, how's it? Great. How's, how's it? Good hello. Yeah. yeah I... Can I stand in here? Yeah. Okay, so it's not a, not a baby, baby, baby. He's already about a year old. Okay, that's pretty cool. It looked a lot smaller in the picture, so... Yeah, you can see his head tucked in there. Just yeah, the over there, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, he's, he's long. That's a cool <laughs> He's got his tongue going. Hey, dude. <clears throat> so, guys, this snake is a little juvenile Bwamslang. It's still got its juvenile coloration. Um... In the picture that the security sent me, I could see that it was a juvenile, but it did look like it was a lot smaller than this. And I thought, well, if there's a baby, there's going to be other babies around. But that's not the case. This is already about a year old. So this snake's siblings will be, you know, very far from one another by now. Where are you going? You're not getting away. Okay, just like that. Eh? <coughs> that would have been my name for me. Yeah. So cool, eh? He's beautiful, eh? They are. You should see them when they are like a newly, newly born. Those eyes are emerald green. <coughs> Do they usually come with a yellow, like a head? Like a what, eh? A yellow head when they're young, young. Um... They have got some yellow on the neck. You can yeah, see neck, it. Neck, yeah. Even on this one, you can see a little bit of that. Um, but yeah, they've got a... Chaddy, is this your neighbor or is this a snake guy? <laughs> no, it's just a, a neighbor. <laughs> oh, I mean, he doesn't know too guy. much about snakes. <laughs> 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 he's so cool. And as you can see, they are really very chilled little snakes. He was, he's been pretty docile the whole time we've been with him. Anybody opposed to being on camera here? No. He's opposed to holding it. My, my <laughs> rate's very cheap, though. Why do you think Mick put on a good shirt? Yeah. <laughs> I was in my boxes before this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ems. Cool, eh? Don't worry, guys. She, she might look very close from this angle, but she's about a meter and a half away. And definitely out of the snake's reach. Hey, Ems, I'm trying to get the snake focused with you blurred in the background. Will you carry on filming for me, Ems? You just film. I want to put the snake in the bag. I don't mind doing it. It's okay. How do I do it? Just hold it. Well, you basically got a joystick here to okay. move wherever you want to move. Up or down. Cool. Yeah. Shut. No yeah, not that I really, really want to use my hands to handle such a highly venomous snake, but I think the tongs are a little bit overkill. I don't want to have to grab them with tongs. And they're very non-aggressive, and he's not even inflating his neck or anything, which tells me he is very, very chilled. You think because it's been cooler the last few days that he's not up for it's a it. he's not up for a fight. Well that also does make a difference. If it was hot and he was all solar powered, he yeah. would, would be a lot more active and a lot more flighty and a lot more we'll do it again next week, eh, Brett? Yeah, yeah. Willing <laughs> to maybe want to bite. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Thanks, guys. Cool. Pleasure. Awesome. Okay. Where about to you stay? In uh Are you here in Shoti? No. No, I'm in Glen Annal, okay. Sunnydale. So where do you where do you put him now? Him? I'll take it out somewhere, yeah. somewhere in the Bundus. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to do 
snake. How's it guys? So I just realized that I didn't give you guys much information about the snake. Um, obviously having it in my hands, I didn't want to handle it for too long. I wanted to get it into the bag as quickly as possible to reduce the chances of me potentially getting bitten. And so yeah, I wanted to concentrate on what I was doing and not have to talk too much. So now that the snake is safely bagged and uh, we are on our way home, I thought I could explain a little bit about the worm slung. Okay, so the worm slung is obviously the Afrikaans name for the snake. The English name being the African tree snake. Um, so they are a highly venomous species. They're the most venomous snake in Africa in actual fact. Um, but that's only because their venom is extremely concentrated. So a single drop of worm slung venom can kill multiple humans, um, probably 10 or more, 10, 15 adult human beings. Whereas, let's for example say a drop of black mamba venom will probably only kill a couple of people, half a dozen people or whatever it may be, I'm not sure exactly. But the worm slung's venom is a lot more concentrated, so it makes it a much more venomous snake. But its venom is very slow working. It's a hemotoxin, so it attacks the blood. It messes with the, bo the body's um, blood clotting mechanism. So, um, you know, your blood will normally, if you cut yourself, it'll bleed a little bit and it'll eventually form a scab. And that's from your blood's ability to clot. And so it breaks down that mechanism and it basically thins your blood. And it thins it to such an extent that if you aren't treated for the bite, you will start to bleed internally and externally. You will start to bleed from your eyes, ears, your nose, your mouth. You'll get massive internal bleeding as the your blood actually begins to leak from even the vein walls. It'll leak through the walls of the veins and you'll get massive internal bleeding. And you'll eventually die from blood loss, kidney failure, dehydration, uh, multiple organ failure, whatever. So really quite a nasty venom, but as I say, it's very slow working. Um, it would probably take probably a couple of days to kill an adult human being. And in that time, there's obviously ample time to get to hospital and receive treatment. And treatment would be in the form of an antivenom that is specifically made for the worm slung bite. It doesn't treat any other of our snake bites. It is our monovalent antivenom. And mono obviously means one. And so it's used only for the bite of the worm slung. And yeah, so with that in mind, uh, obviously not a snake that you would want to mess with and end up getting bitten by but as you could see in the video they are very very docile they are very shy snakes very reluctant to bite um, and so I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't recommend anybody does what I do or try to handle one of these snakes um, but obviously I know what I'm doing I can read the snakes body language it wasn't even really inflating its neck, so it wasn't even that uh, feeling that threatened by me. And it also wasn't very flighty, the weather was cool and rainy, so the snake's body temperature was low and that made it less um, active. And so, yeah, with being able to read the body, the snake's body language and read its tongue, its tongue will often tell you whether it's just investigating or if it's like a hey leave me alone kind of movement and yeah so that's why it's safe well I wouldn't say safe but it's you know I know what I'm doing and I would know when the snake is going to be turning around to try and bite me and then I would obviously just let it go as I said in the video I had tongs with me but uh, 
tongs were a little bit of an overkill especially thinking that I was going for a little hatchling worm slung um, the picture that the security sent me looked like it was a tiny little newborn hatchling um, and that's why I didn't even take my tongs with me I thought no way I'm gonna blim and break the snake if I had to grab it or that but then obviously when I got there it was a much bigger juvenile than I thought it was gonna be and I probably could have used the tongs but still a little bit of an overkill and so I figured it would be okay for me to use my hands and just be careful anyway I hope you guys enjoyed that um, very pretty little snakes and I don't catch much of them you know I maybe catch maybe three or four of them in a year and those are always adults I very 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 seldom see the little babies or the hatchlings or the or the juveniles so that was pretty cool and something different cool well enjoy and uh, we'll see you on the next one cheers for now